Hey, how's, how's AP Economics treating you? Um, well, today there was a rousing debate about inflation versus liquidity, which Isabel settled by calling Warren Buffett. Apparently he's her godfather. <laughs> hey, um, so the other night, seeing you was, was really nice. I know the first leg of the Dan Serena Let's Be Friends tour was a disaster, but... Uh... Well, we were young and stupid then. Now we're older and wiser. You have to help me destroy Chuck Bass. All right, I'll take that as my cue to leave. Oh, you're very perceptive. Dan, wait. If you're having a problem with Chuck, then a man's perspective could be helpful. Yeah, just because you two are making a doomed attempt at being friends doesn't mean I have to play the enabler. Blair, come on. <sighs> well, um, if you're plotting against Chuck Bass, then I, I'm sure I can think of something. Fine. I have an itch that only Chuck can scratch, and he won't <sighs> oblige unless I tell him I love him. You, you need help getting Chuck to sleep with you? Really? You hear the judgment in his voice right now, right? He, he's working on that. Too. Yeah, you're, you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no judgment. Only help. So do you love him? No, no, of course not. I want you to say it to get what you want. Frat guys have been doing that since forever. I can't. If I say it, then Chuck wins. Right. But if you say it, then you get him and you win. No, I lose. See, this is totally pointless. I was thinking I would just disappear for a while and give him a taste of life without me. No, no, no. That's a terrible idea. Don't disappear. Become unavoidable. Chuck may be a deviant, but he's still a man, so just, you know, drive him crazy and wear him down. You should be good at that. Well, look who finally got a little interesting. I'm sure it's a fluke. See? Wasn't this nice? Ugh. We've been broken up. You guys make me nauseous.